today I'm going to be showing you how to instantly improve your download speed when installing Fortnite updates. Now, as I'm making this video, everyone is trying to probably install the new Fortnite update, the new Fortnite season, but this is going to be like generational. You can show your family this video, your future kids, and this will help them because it's going to work, uh, you know, for every season. Um, so yeah, this video is completely raw, by the way. I'm not going to edit it. I'm just going to get straight to the point, uh, get to the nitty gritty and show you how to do it. Um, what you want to do is, first of all, uh, open up uh, your windows, go into your little window search, type in percent local app data percent, go into this file folder. If you can't get into it, that if you can't get into that folder, that way you want to type in run and type in that exact same thing here. What you want to do is now go back to local or sorry, app data. Just click actually, no, no, no. What am I saying? You don't have to do that. No, sorry. Stay here in local. So if you went back here, go back to local, press E on your keyboard, find Epic Games launcher. You want to open up this. You want to go to saved config windows and here you're going to find engine.ini you want to double click into this first of all just you can right click it make sure in properties read only isn't ticked it literally shouldn't be but if it is untick it you want to go into here and you want to copy and paste this now it's going to be in the description just go in the description um i'll also like put it in the pinned comment probably just copy and paste this exactly what i've got here paste it into here press file save you can now um make sure there's no space at the end just to be safe file save you can exit out of here and then you want to launch your Epic Games uh, launcher. What you want to do now is go in here, go to settings. You want to scroll all the way down. Copy all of these preferences, by the way. Copy all of them. Uh, some of them are like, you know, subjective. You can keep minimize uh, the system. Some of the obvious ones. Running when computer starts. I recommend having the offer F like performance purposes. But yeah, no, you can keep this on. Um, but everything else, copy all the obvious ones. Uh, this doesn't really matter. Um, I just have it because I need it. Enable cloud saves, have that on. Throttle downloads. Now, what you want to do is a lot of people say, like, put the max number in here. No, no, no. Set this to zero. It literally says zero means unlimited. We're only f enabling the option to throttle downloads, which sounds counterintuitive. We're only enabling it and setting it to unlimited to be sure that it's on unlimited. What this means is it will use, like, your, you know, your internet to its best capacity. It will use all the download speed it can use. To download so yeah set this to zero that is unlimited just to be safe that's literally all you need to do that right there is all you need to do now optional you can actually change some of your windows network settings so i'm just going to show you how to do that now sometimes it takes me a little bit to get into there um so just actually bear with me but i'm going to try and get that in here as fast as possible for you guys um network control panel here we go ethernet i'm using ethernet you want to go to properties right here and when you're in your ethernet properties or your wi-fi um wi-fi properties of course by the way you can actually increase your download speed by using wired internet believe it or not yes that is very true if you are not using an ethernet cable in 2024 nearly 2025 yeah it's a big problem that's going to be most of your issue but you know this video will help nonetheless just, yeah, definitely get an Ethernet cable. But yeah, if you have an Ethernet cable, particularly for you guys with Ethernet cables, copy these settings right here. So exactly what I've got right here, unless you need anything particular, like you use uh, printers and stuff. If you also go to configure and then go to advanced, copy these settings I've got here. Just copy them. Okay, ARP offload, disabled, energy efficient Ethernet, value off, flow control, disabled. Also, again, make note of what you set previously. If there's any issue, you know, it could happen in a very rare case. In a blue moon, it could happen. So, yeah, just be careful. You can also create a system restore point right here. Um, just a quick disclaimer. Yeah, so flow control disabled. I'm just going to literally go through these. I'm not going to read each one. There you go. Internal moderation rate. This one, this one, this one. You can pause the video. This one, this one. This one, this one, this one. There we go. 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 Just make sure I don't miss any. There we go. Yeah, these are the best and most optimized. Like, best, most optimized. These will increase your ping as well. So, yeah, I highly recommend for most people this is going to do wonders. But at least the first two options. At the very least, the first two options, you have to follow them. And yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this. This helped. Drop the like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Appreciate you guys. Hope everyone has an amazing, blessed day. This is completely raw. So I'll speak off the top of my mind. Sorry if this wasn't very good. Uh, yeah, I love you guys.